Hey everyone, good morning. Today we're gonna to talk about Doubting Thomas. Did you know that the book of John is the only one of the four gospels that includes a reference to and story about Thomas? That story is included in the 20th chapter of John, verses 19 through 29. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now Thomas, one of the 12, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I won't believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Many of us have heard this story over the past week due to its inclusion in the lectionary, but this is my thought on it, and I know this thought is shared by many people. Die, doubting Thomas gets a bad rap. We all are doubters, and y'all, it's hard not to be. We live in a society that believes in trust yet verify, and it can be exhausting to live your life, your daily life, looking behind your back, over your shoulder, wondering if you can trust your fellow man. But that is where the end verse from the end of the 20th chapter of John comes into play. And it is appropriately titled, The Purpose of John's Gospel. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in his name. Y'all, this book of John, these particular words in this chapter of John are put here, and this story about Thomas is put here to validate our doubts and to give us the support we need on the days that are filled with doubt. This story is here that we may believe and have life in his name. And we're not talking about life where we're breathing, walking, seeing, doing the daily. We're talking about abundant life, that we can live life to the fullest and live into the joy that Holy Spirit desperately wants us to have. And we get that by believing. We get that by not being ashamed of our doubts, but living into them and trusting that Jesus knows exactly where we are. And he is saying, you child of little faith, why didn't you not believe? And he'll say that a billion times. He'll say that as many times as he needs to for it to get through our heads. And that, my friends, is something for which I am very grateful. And I bet you are too. Look forward to seeing you next week where we continue to go through Eastertide. I hope you have a wonderful week and love, light, and abundant blessings to you.